Well, here we are. We're outside the NEC for this uh, outdoor expo show. This is the Sunday. I was here for both days, so I did pretty much every single thing that I wanted to do yesterday. Um, there's really not <laughs> very much left to do, you know. I would say that one day in there is more than enough for the for the average person. I think, you know, one day is absolute, you know, plenty in there. It was very, very busy uh, when I first got in there yesterday, which you will see in the footage that I will show that I shot on the 360. I went around various stalls and stands and companies and I asked, you know, probably about eight-ish, um, eight or nine companies if they were interested in sending me, supplying me um, equipment, kit, whatever that I can use on the channel. Um, None actually said yes there and then, which is understandable. But uh, they, the ones that I spoke to, they all either took my details or suggested that I email them. So basically, we will just wait and see whether you know whether they do get back to me and whether they reply to any emails that I send out. So time will kind of tell. Time will kind of tell on that one as to, you know, as to what happens. So we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see what happens on that. Okay, just ignore my moving mouth here. <laughs> over, over speaking thing, whatever. Oh, I'm too tired to concentrate. Anyway, the, the footage that you will be seeing following me um, gassing away here is uh, some footage from yesterday, which I just want to add in here. It's like a minute or two here or there, and then a little bit from today, plus the guest speaker of the trip, Paul Messner. More interesting than what he normally talks about. <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> so here there's a few different Leatherman multi tools and up and all, up and out French knives and axes. This other, this other one in here is called Runderwear. So they do, it's like performance, running tops, long sleeve tops here, underwear. I did ask this company if they were interested in, in giving anything, but uh, they do it as a, you know, if you buy something, tag tag them in Instagram or something like that. So I, I bought a couple of pairs of socks because my socks were literally falling apart. They had holes in, <laughs> holes in them. But if you're interested in, in this company, I've, I've bought a pair of their Merino socks and initial impressions, they feel soft and comfortable. So there's the ladies section. Okay, so these harnesses here, these are mainly for attaching to, 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 to humans. <laughs> so don't put that on your dog. So these are attaching to, to you, and then you attach your dog to those. So that's probably pretty, <laughs> pretty in the area. <laughs> I don't think Lassie and I would be doing that type of thing somehow. And then obviously you've got raincoats and things like that. People have said I ought to put a raincoat on Lassie, but given that she's a border collie, probably not um, not worth it. But maybe if she gets older, then she'd just get it wet anyway, because she's in the water all the time. And then you've got some different harnesses, some different harnesses here and, and belts and things like that. And apparently they do, they even do jackets for, 
jackets for people there. So they look like they've got uh, quite a few different things there. So never heard of this company. Very nice lady. We will see whether, whether they get back to me or not. Okay. Here we've got Mac, Mac in a sack. And then they've got their various different age groups here from toddlers to youngsters to adults I guess and then you've got the Mackinac various different options down there I don't know if it's colours maybe just colour difference colours and different sizes I don't know this brand, I can't really say very much about it. Okay, so when you first walk in, you've just got, it's not as busy as yesterday. You can at least today move around. That's my first thoughts and feelings. Although you still gotta, you still have to dodge around people. But you've got Salomon, Coca, tent box, so you've got quite a big tent box exhibition there. If you like your woodwork, you've got woodwork here. So you can't move around completely freely. You definitely have to you're definitely dodging people. Shirovsky. Splash maps, whatever that is. RSPB. More scopes and things. Health and beauty. Sorry. Binoculars. Oh. Binoculars. Another roof tent company. A swinging thing. That sure thing. If you want a huge tent, I guess you could get a yurt. And then we swing around here. Various different stands and things like that. Climbing wall, an army, embrace, the boating stuff here if you like your paddling, canoes and such like, climbing stuff. Climbing shoes, more climbing things. Come on, anyway. Bit busier. It's not as busy as yesterday, but it's still. We've got a company there selling. I don't know what. Cosy Mac, Mac in a sack. Mac in a sack. That was one company that I contacted, and they said to email them. So we'll see whether they get back to us. So this is looks like first aid. WWF. Okay, so that's Van Gogh, so that's kind of quite literally, even in the National Outdoor Expo. And we've been walking around for a few minutes, and that's one of the first things that potentially is of interest. This is Runda Feet, or whatever they're called. I contacted them, they, they're the only ones that uh, weren't that interested they said I had to basically buy something and tag them in tag them in things Kendall Mink the Dogs Trust didn't spot them yesterday 
So there's a few, uh, a few charities here, Canal and River Trust. Wildlife Trust Life Systems. So that was another one that I um, got in touch with. So we'll see. We'll see if they're interested in in anything. Oh, the dogs were, yeah, the dogs were, like, they might be interested, they, they sounded like they'd be interested, but we'll see whether we hear anything back from them. Hello, Valley and Pete, they got loads of stuff, with all sorts of different companies there, and then over to the right you've got, uh, that's where they do talking, back to the exit <laughs> and then you kind of back to the exit again you've got ordnance survey there and that's it and that's it there's really not a huge amount there so I hope you find that little walk around you know helpful and informative don't forget to like subscribe share hit that notification button and all that stuff and i'll catch you in the next video and then obviously check out any individual bits or other bits that i do from the show